Ah, uh, hello, welcome back. And um, again, we'll be on the A3. No surprise. Um, this car's getting pretty close now. We're not far off finishing it. There's a few jobs left to do. And the biggest job of the lot is, is the dashboard change, which is going to be today's video. I'm going to swap out that dashboard today and the knee airbag. Um, and we should be done with all the airbag codes then. So we will give it a scan again, have a look. And then um, we'll crack on with the removal of that dashboard. But we do need to shift around these cars first. We've got a few bits and pieces in here. So I need to get this, this A3 over towards the shutter. So I can get both doors open. And um, be a bit easier then to work on it. So a bit of a plan. Um, if you remember the TT video. The dash was extremely hard to get out on that because it was it went it, it literally went down here as well, so it was part of the center console. Uh, but this one doesn't; it just kind of ends there, so it should be far easier. So it's probably going to be the usual plan. Air vents will probably pop out to to show some um, fixings behind them. There'll be some fixings behind here. We'll have to get the the um, glove box out. There'll be some fixings behind there. Same on the other side. Um, remove all the buttons literally just trying to expose as much as many of the fixings as possible and you just keep on screwing things until it's loose basically uh, we'll whip that out all the clots have to come out so it's quite a big job you quite often have to take out you know these trims around here and stuff as well to get to other fixings so right, so we need to swap these cars around first so I'll get these cars moved get us into some space over there and um We'll, uh, we'll get on with it. Right, we've got the car shifted now, a bit of room around it. And um, I think first of all, we'll unpack this uh, new, new dashboard just to make sure it's all there before we start to rip the old one out. Yeah, it's unwrapped it. All looks uh, good condition. Uh, I'm really glad that it's come with this on. Because the one in the car on the old dashboard, the um, the previous owner has decided to paint it black, but he's painted it with a touch-up pen, and it you can feel it's really rough. It's horrible, so that's really good. Put the new one on and get rid of that. It's got all the right buttons on it as well. So we've got ourselves some spare buttons. And um, another benefit of, of opening this and having a look is we can find all the fixing points. So all these gold tabbed ones is going to be where the actual dashboard fixes to the car. Behind the clocks, there's one behind the screen at the top, so the screen needs to come out. There's nothing behind the vents, so we can take them vents out and put them straight back in to this new one. So it looks like it's going to be pretty easy really to get this one out. Is there something under there? Yes, yeah, two more under there. They might be tricky to get to with the centre console in. Uh, but they look good. It's going to look spot on that. Passenger airbag's already in it. Let's need to plug that in. So we're going to have to remove the glove box. There doesn't appear to be any fixings on the um, climate control. So that should just pop straight out. And again, the vents are no fixings, so they'll pop straight out. So, the air vents should just pull. <coughs> straight out. So that's passenger side. And they have little locators slot into them, so you can only get one way around. And that goes. Like that. Perfect. So we'll do the other three, and then we'll start taking the glove box out and the clocks and the um, controllers and the screen. Out the old one. So, 
yeah, that just pushed in on them two clips. Three plugs. Can't get them wrong, they're all different sizes. That section out. I don't know if you can see, but inside there, there's two Torx head screws. So, and they're going in the direction of that screen. So perhaps they hold that screen in them all. So we'll whip them out. See if that gets the, the little computer out for us. little box we've got three 10 mil nuts up there bolts sorry um, it's one of that corner it tends to be one behind that little panel in the back in the back there that removes and then we're gonna also get this CD player out I think I can't remember now and there's the um, passenger airbag switch so it appears the hardest part of a dashboard removal just like in the Audi TT is getting the CD player out Absolute pain in the backside, and all just because up there there's a one bolt hiding that you can't get to. Once that's out, glove box comes out, <clears throat> then we can get to the rest of the fixings for the dash. All right, we got that corner cover off eventually and, and exposed that one fixing that's taken out. So this side now is, um, you know, it's loose. I need to get the clocks out, get the cover out from underneath the um, steering column and basically do the same on that side, get all the fixings out and then we should be good to go. So. I think if we drop this steam wheel as low on out as possible. Ugh. So this cover's got to come off. Be a couple of fixings down here usually. Uh, take that off. Get all the fixings out. Get the clocks out. And then let's see what happens.
but we got there in the end. That was a major struggle though. Uh, I had to take, I had to loosen off all the centre console, all the middle, take out the armrest, push the centre console right back as far as I could, just to get out two fixings that are in there. That are very hard to get to. So again, now obviously we're just going to do the reverse process now. <clears throat> and put the new one back in. It should go in a lot quicker than the old one came out because I know where all the plugs are now, where all the clips are. Um, but I think whilst we've got a bit of access, we might as well go ahead and change this new airbag first. This is a bit of light down here. Um, it appears just three 10 mil um, bolts. It comes forwards, then down, I think. airbags back in. If only the dashboard were in that easier. <laughs> but we have to get on with it, we've got to get it in there. Dashboard complete. Unfortunately, this one little bit of trim that goes on there is still painted in his rubbish black, so I want a piece to match the nice silver now, so I'll just find one on eBay and order that. It's got a broken clip in it anyway. God knows why he's wanted to paint them black. They look nice, nice as like that. Anyway, dashboard's done. Um, we're going to now put this centre console back together. Uh, <coughs> I won't put any more time lapse on though, it's, it's a bit pointless, you don't want to sit there watching yet more you know, fast forward action. So I'll just, I'll just, um, I'll come back to you when I've done it. Alright, so it's all back together. So, um, we need to put the positive lead back on the battery, then we'll grab the scanner and we'll, um, Turn the ignition on and hope nothing blows. <laughs> so, uh, put that back on. So far, so good. I'll just grab the scanner. Right, so um, I turned the ignition on, had a pile of faults, and um, with these electronic steering racks, you've got to start them up and go a lot to lot to get rid of a lot of the faults. Because um, it springs up steering angle sensor and links it through a lot of other lights. So I did that, cleaned, them all, cleared all the codes, scanned again, and I'm still getting them three airbag sensor ones, but they're all open circuit. So that plug that I found hanging in the front passenger side, it, it must be something to do with that plug. I'm going to have to find out where it plugs into. Uh, so I'm going to have a look at that now. Uh, the other only cord is the aircon, which we know is, is um, empty anyway. So I'll have a look where that plug goes, see if we can get rid of them airbag faults. I'll come back to you. Well that's it for today, I can't figure out them bolts for the um, pedestrian protection so I'm going to have to look into it on the internet. Um, I think there's a crash sensor missing. I think the middle crash sensor which sits behind here for the pedestrian protection is missing and the harness. So I think that's what that plug has got something to do with down here. I need to research 
because uh, if the uh, bonnet actuators are in the same circuit then it is going to show an open circuit because there's something part of it missing so um, yeah but all the dash is in looking good so the interior is finished um, well the exterior is finished most of it's finished it's just that bloody crash sensor and the wheels still need refurbing which will be in the next video probably so yeah um, extremely tricky job but at least it's ticked off now and it's done. So uh, yeah, a good day, busy, hard day, busy day. So yeah, that's it. Um, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.